Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, we've got a few additional supplies for the carpenter. We got the paint. What color did you get, Tate? Uh, baby blue. Baby blue, no dark blue. Ah, uh, I said dark blue. No, no dark blue. All right, well, baby blue, it's going to be the same color, I guess. I wanted royal blue, dark blue, but... I'll forgive you this time, Tatai. We have our sky blue and then... And then baby blue? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it is what it is. And then we got some more epoxy and some thinner. Uh, that's a brush we had laying around. And we got him another piece of wood. This piece of wood right here so he can do this repair in the bottom of the hull here. Definitely needs a little fix in there. And we got him all this epoxy because he's basically going to slather the whole bottom of this boat with epoxy to seal it up. I mean, it looks rough on video, but this is actually still pretty solid. It did have some cancer in it and some rot in it, but he's taken all that out and what's left is kind of sort of okay. And it's still pretty solid. I mean, these are, you know, these aren't Warcraft. I mean, they're they're pretty simple boats, and they're lightly made. I mean, this is only quarter-inch plywood on the hull, so that's what it is. And then one by two ribs, one by three uh, frame, basically, and the bottom is. Uh, the original bottom top tie, what was that? 2 by 2 by 12? No. What? Like a slab. A slab? Yes. So it was, originally it was like 4 inches thick uh, and then they just shape it? Yeah. Yeah. The keel, I guess you would say, is uh, was very thick in the in the beginning. But just for that patch down on the end down there, he's going to use... Uh, one by ten but the thing here uh, the way they measure lumber here when it's one inch it's still really one inch whereas in the states uh, a one inch piece of wood would be just a, a shaving over three quarters so uh, it'll turn out fine we got him some sandpaper also I don't know what happened to it but yeah there it is right there uh, he's gonna sand this down pretty good before he paints it well, we're not going to be here for most of this because Tata and I are going out with Gabriel to try to see if we can uh, get the, the fence put up for the dogs. I'm going to uh, start moving the dogs out there tomorrow, probably one at a time. It'll be probably traumatic for them, and they're, none of them are really well trained, so I'm going to have to hold them. And not too bad holding one uh, scared dog, but three at one time would probably be a little bit prohibitive. And he does the initial shaping on this with a bolo. I'm, I'm still pretty amazed at this guy's craftsmanship. How old are you, Didong? How old are you? 27. 27. How long have you been uh, working on boats? Uh, two years. Two years only? W where did you learn from? Experience. Did you, did you learn from a, another boat carpenter? Yeah. Yeah? Well, for two years he picked it up pretty well because he's everything. Every bit of work that he's done on this seems pretty top-notch to me. I mean, the way he's fit this back in here uh, is pretty amazing to me, actually. Especially when you consider the tools that he has. I mean, it's just. Uh, 
enthralling to watch, I guess you could say. And the dong, are you gonna are you gonna make an adjustment here or repair this end for the yes. 13 horsepower motor? Oh. What are you gonna What are you gonna do there? Yeah, just. Oh, you're gonna put it back here? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Well, however you do it, that'll be interesting to watch. Yeah. All righty. Thank. You. These are. This is the outrigger for the boat. I'm gonna have the carpenter or Tatai. I talked to Tatai about it, but he didn't seem you know, that confident in being able to do it. Uh, I'm gonna add the. I'm gonna have the carpenter add one bamboo uh, underneath this one for more stability, more flotation, because there's gonna be foreigners probably uh, wandering around on this boat and back when I was new to these pump boats you know, I almost rolled this boat over because I got too far out on the edge uh, just walking around on the deck uh, we probably got to 40 degrees before Gabriel jumped onto the other side and I uh, caught my balance so just a little bit more flotation on each side so we're gonna add another piece of, of uh, bamboo I'm, I'm thinking either directly under this one or or under this here and make this the bottom one however they want to do it uh, they know my idea so that's that's the plan anyway this is the like the center mass for the canopy uh, I don't know this well it's got to be replaced because uh, this is for five foot people not six foot people and many of the people that are going to be walking around on this boat are going to be six feet people plus uh, one myself being one of those and so these boards here uh, they need to be much longer uh, so that we have at least a six foot one or two inch canopy in the middle and uh, it'll extend out uh, to this this cross member here this one here so it's like eight feet that it'll come down and around and I'm also going to have uh, either Tata or the carpenter make some seats on this and we're going to put those uh, nothing elaborate just uh, like a bent seat on each side of this uh, I asked the carpenter and he said this is like six or eight person capacity this palm boat so that tells me uh, four foreigners or two foreigners and their wives and uh, a little bit of their stuff for a, a day cruise would be the capacity of this boat maybe a little bit more it depends on the seas I would imagine but we're going to put some bent seats in here on each side probably uh, I don't know I'm guessing this this is what he has here now is like eight feet so but I don't think it needs to be nearly that big so or long so maybe six feet uh, just a plywood bench uh, elevated a little bit up off the uh, off the deck so that it's a bit more comfortable to, to put around on this and that's going to be and of course this here will all be painted too I got a gallon of paint this morning which they all seem to think will be plenty to uh, paint the boat. I didn't ask them if we would need additional paint to paint this, but if we, if we need to get more paint, we'll get more paint. So it's probably a, a couple of seven foot two by twos, uh, more tie wire, however, they, however they, they put it in, and a couple of 20 foot pieces of bamboo, uh, large size. We may even have some of this still out at the fish cage, that size. They do have to be straight though, so it would be a couple premium pieces out there, but we'll get it all done. Uh, today is Friday, so I don't anticipate uh, this boat being done, completely done, until like uh, oh, Tuesday night maybe. Uh, it depends. I mean, this carpenter... He, he's he's kind of sickly. I mean, he's a, he's a grown man and all, and he seems fit enough. But 
uh, he's he, he gets sick often. He, there's something wrong, maybe dengue, uh, malaria, something. But he has down days. So, uh, and I didn't know that before when I was getting a little testy that he wasn't showing up and wasn't working full days. Uh, but for him, he's busting his ass for uh, for what he can do. So uh, I'm I'm sticking with him and being patient with him. When this, uh, when this boat gets finished, then the Princess Apple is going to be pulled out and put in dry dock and we're going to uh, do some repairs on her. Uh, nothing nearly so elaborate or extensive as what we're doing on uh, Gabriel's former boat here. But just some uh, trimming around, maybe some epoxy here and there, uh, a paint job, a new canopy, and some seats on it as well and the carrying capacity of the Princess Apple is probably four or five times uh, what Gabriel's old boat was because it's a much larger, wider, longer boat so uh, we'll probably make eight foot or even ten foot benches on it and again a higher canopy that foreigners can walk around under without having to bend over and I would like to get that done. Uh, we need two operational boats in case one breaks down because the logistics of getting something fixed right away here are uh, challenging and uh, these boats are primarily going to be used to move feed and uh, the fish don't want to hear our problems in getting the feed out to the fish cages. When they're hungry, they're hungry. So. I'm going to try to build in a little uh, a redundancy so that we don't have any problems in getting the feed out there. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.